Okay, this is going to be my last batch, except for I have a couple more videos of the abuse. This is what the cops in Rosemond, judges, district attorney, and and uh, that happened to me for from 16 and 17, besides the other ones from a few years ago. But Eileen or Irene, I took this to the little Winky Dink Andy Griffith substation before they closed down and moved to Mojave. And she was, I showed her these videos and or pictures, and I went there with a bruise on my arm, not this one, but I'll show you which one. And she promised to help me, and she never did. And then she promised to help me in uh, Mojave, and she never did. And I showed her the pictures. My friend went up there with me all the time. But this is what Rosemond, Kern County, California cops let criminals get away with. Some of them are just uh, doubled because I want to make sure that I don't delete them because these are going to the FBI next week as soon as I get everything downloaded on my flash drives. These are videos. I'm not going to, I don't know if I'm going to post them or not, but they're just abuse, the same thing. Bruises all over my body. This is a purse. A friend gave me a $200 purse. I had it five minutes. Another friend was with me when we went to my house, to the apartment. And I went outside and then I went back while well, I was outside. I went in the house for two minutes. I come back out and this was, he cut it. Like he did all my other clothes and tore up all my other stuff. But this is what Roseman cops, this one, he hit me really hard in the arm. I'll show you. This is another bruise. He always used to tear up my stuff. It looks worse when I'm looking at it straight through my other phone, but I'm using a double phone. So this is where he cut me. I told the cops about this. They didn't do anything, of course. Every time the cops were called, this is where he hit me. We were driving one time, and I don't know what he hit me with. But this lasted for a long time, and the little scar was still on my arm over a year. So this bruise right here, I don't know what the hell he hit me with, but I, he hit me with something. I had my head turned. This is where I had my head turned. This is where he popped me one. You can see it starting to get red, and then it turned into stuff like this. This is when, let me see. This is when I had my surgery in 2016. I had to have three hernias removed from my stomach. This was a week later. And this was in, uh, I think, June. This was in June, I think, yeah. This is video. I might post some of it. I don't know. It's just no, more bruises. People used to get so mad because I would bartend and waitress for years and years. And every day I'd walk into work and I'd have horrible bruises all over me and people would get so mad because these Kern County cops and district's attorneys wouldn't do anything about it and judges they wouldn't they wouldn't do nothing so every day I have bruises on me that's how corrupt this county is he was always grabbing me really hard and throwing me around This is a black guy. This is when I went to jail, I think the second time and Johnny hit himself in the face and they took him to jail and I showed him the bruise and the cop said that he didn't see any bruise. When I got to the jail, I think this was, this was Mojave jail where there, it's not legal to put a, put a woman in there. It's illegal, but they put me in there overnight anyways, with a bunch of guys screaming, I was scared to death. So this is the bruise I asked the CO if she could see, and she said yes. But the cop on his little microphone, if you, if you, if you know, whenever if the FBI wants to see the recordings, this is what the cop said he did not see on me. This was taken the next day after I got out of jail. And what is this? I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is, but doesn't look good. I'll go back to that one. 
Yeah, looking at these videos. This is where I went to the, uh, this is what I showed Eileen at the substation. I'm going to put this, yeah, I was going to put it on pause. Okay, I don't have to. He whacked me with something or burned me with something. I can't remember what it was. That's where he cut my finger. My friend was there. And that's when him running in the house and he cut my finger. He tore my clothes all the time. Okay, that's it. That's only some of it. But I want to go back to this one because this one, I don't know what this is. Let me see. Oh yeah, okay. Let me turn this. Let me turn this down really fast. Hold on a second. This is one. Okay, here we go. Don't ever come out to Kern County, California, because it's not a good place to live. And he got away with every single bit of this. I think they, they arrested him one time. He went to jail overnight. I had He had the same district attorney. There's my black eye that he popped me really good. I had, we, the district attorney I had when I was falsely arrested, said I had to, I had to plead guilty for defending myself, or I'll go five, or I'll get five years in prison. And I was on probation for a year, and I had to pay seven hundred dollars. And I had proof, and I was telling the district attorney lady I had proof that what he was doing to me, and she said it didn't matter. But then years, a few years later. He went, he had the same district attorney as I had, and they gave him a slap on the wrist. He told me he had cheeseburgers in prison, French fries, soda, or in jail overnight. They let him out overnight. They kept me in there for days, three times. And I had all this proof, and they let him out. And then when we went to court, they said that he can go. But they left me in there for three, four days. And it's all on my YouTube channels if you read them. But this is what he got away with doing to me. Okay, let me see. Okay, so that's Kern County, California for you. Land of where you can get away with murder animal abuse, child abuse, get away with all of it because they don't do anything about this. And people wonder why I fucking record because if I didn't record, I would probably be in prison for 20 years because he lies and they believe him because he's the district attorney out here is going out with uh, the district attorney's son is going out with um, his tweaker stepdaughter. I think this is another one. Yeah, let me see. I don't know. Wait, let me see. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let me back it up a little.
I'm gonna keep doing this because I don't want him to get tired of this. It's it's making me sick because this brings back bad memories. But I have to do this because I I tried to let this go for for eight years, and I just can't let this go. So this is all going to the FBI, and then one one of them is going to my sister. So, okay. Let me see. Got a different one here. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's more. There's so much, much more. But that's it for now because I'm, I'm, this is way too much evidence for the FBI. And like I said, I'm not going to the one in uh, Kern County because they're probably just as corrupt as these cops, judges, district attorney, and animal control. So I'm going to the one on Wilshire Boulevard. Uh, in Los Angeles. I'll take the hour and a half drive because it's going to be worth it. And that's that.